the Henry Arms 4570 side gate. Let's check it out. Henry Arms makes some of the best lever action rifles on the market, all made in the USA. Uh, they're known for their really high quality. Uh, with the lever action, the 4570 is hands down my favorite. It's a very large caliber, it's a large bullet, and man, it packs a punch. But there's just something about it. And honestly, to me, it's almost like taking a 1911 45 and putting it in a rifle version. And being able to shoot it's that same kind of just slow push back and man it is highly effective designed in 1873 not long after the Civil War this was adopted by the US government in the Springfield trapdoor of course it was black powder at that time and now they use smokeless powders 45 comes from the 45 caliber the 70 is originally 70 grains of black powder and that's where the name comes from but this is a very popular caliber in lever actions. And now with the Henry side loading gate, that makes a huge difference. I've been reviewing Henry rifles for a long time. And the biggest complaint is that it's only tube fed. And a lot of people like that side loading gate, which I definitely understand it's very fast to reload. But the great thing about the Henry is they didn't do away with this really nice brass tube in their brass magazine. So now you have the best of both worlds. And again, just that beautiful Henry rifle quality. And guys, when you're shooting around this big, it has a lot of power behind it. And we want to thank Henry for sending the 4570 side gate for this review. A lot of people are excited about the side gate option on your Henry rifles. In fact, all the different calibers are coming with that now. And with the 4570, this is my favorite. I just love this caliber. Again, it's been around for almost 150 years, and it's still just as popular today uh, with big game hunters, with shooters. Uh, one of the things about 4570 is that the range is just phenomenal as far as it being lethal. These are definitely thousand yard rifles with the right setup. Now with a lever action rifle like this, you know, without a scope, you're not going to be able to get those kind of distances. And so you can put a scope on this, but for what most of us use, this is a great firearm and it can definitely take anything on the North American continent. Of course, to get things started, let's go ahead and work our lever and make sure that the gun is unloaded and it is. Now here's your side gate. It's really easy to load those rounds in. You just push them through. They go up into the tubular magazine, and then when you rack your lever, it just inserts around into the chamber. So it's really fast. Now when you're loading it from the tube, you just turn this knurled little end cap, and then you just pull your tube straight out. You can stop here, and then you just drop your rounds in one at a time. Now if I had this in the vertical position, they would just slide straight down. And so it says, again, that it will hold four rounds, but honestly, this is number five, and it fits in there perfectly. Bring down my cap, and I'm locked in. You can actually add an additional round once you've chambered the first round. So this will give you a six-round capability. The great thing is, if you want to unload, instead of trying to rack the lever every time, you can just bring this up and just pour these right out. And that's one of the benefits of a tube-fed magazine. And the great thing is you've got your side loading gate, so you can use it for quick reloads, but then you can use the tube to unload, really quick unloading. And missed one.
The barrel's 18.4 inches. Overall, it's 37 and a half inches in length. It's got a beautiful American walnut stock, and they do source this wood from the U.S., but it's just a very sleek rifle. Beautiful checkering on the pistol grip and on the forearm, plus it has an end cap. You have a swivel stud at the front and a swivel stud here at the back. Also has a rubberized butt cap, and this is vented, and you're going to love this because it's going to really cushion that 4570. Now, it's an all-steel construction, and the receiver has kind of a matte finish to it. Very nice. Uh, the barrel has a little more of a sheen to it. it makes it, The bluing is beautiful. And, of course, your lever is blued as well. Very smooth action with the Henrys. Very smooth. Uh, you can get the large lever if you like that, especially with gloved hands. Uh, and there's a number of different options with the Henry. There's no external safeties on the rifle, but there is a transfer bar. So you can actually leave the hammer in the fully down position, and there's a bar that blocks access to the firing pin. Nice serrations right on the hammer, easy to grab. And then we have drilled and tapped here at the top if you want to put a scope mount on it. It's set up for the Weaver 63B mounts, and of course you can get those directly from Henry. We have semi buckhorn sights that are adjustable, and you do have a diamond right here to be able to line up with the front bead. And the front sight is a brass bead, and this can be drifted for windage. The barrel's crowned, which is very important. If you ever drop this, which I did right here, I dropped it at the range. Rifling was protected because of that crown, and that will affect accuracy. And again, the lever, guys, it is so smooth. A lot of times you get some different type lever action rifles, and they just don't have quite the quality and the finish that the Henry has. And the weight on the Henry 4570 is 7 pounds and 3.5 ounces. And if you're wondering about this little foam rest, this is from Foam Action Sports. This weighs 2 ounces, and this is a great range companion. But it also makes it nice to be able to rest my rifle. And here we have the 223, just to give you a perspective of the size of the 4570. I mean, it is a massive round, and the case just allows for a lot of power. And these were used in early Gatling guns. <laughs> you can imagine the devastation. It was switched to 30 caliber later, but this round has a lot of potential. It will reach out to 3,350 yards and still be lethal. In fact, it'll go three inches into an oak board. But typically, about 1,000 yards is what you're looking out of the 4570. But most people use it between two and 300 yards because of the trajectory. And while this is a 405 grain bullet, uh, this is more of a cowboy load. When you're watching the shooting, uh, there is a, it's a little bit smoky, which they're designed to be that way. But they go all the way down from 300 grain all the way up to 600 grain. So it gives you a lot of variation. Here we have the 405 grain lead projectile. This is from Fioki. But we were also using the Federal Trophy Bonded Bear Claw. And this is only a 300 grain bullet. But man, it packs a serious punch. In fact, the recoil was considerably more with the Federal. But this is made more for hunting. And guys, I'm telling you, this thing will rock your world. <laughs> In fact, I love shooting 4570, but shooting a steady guy to this stuff that gun is stand it just knocks it all over the place <laughs> uh, i'd have to go with something a little bit less but it still gives you a lot of power coming out the end of that barrel really appreciate fioki for sponsoring the ammo all made in the usa especially this 4570 this is 405 grain lead round nose you know just slip it in love this side loading option for henry but yet you still have tube fed. Gives you best options of both. Now obviously the big difference with the side gate is the side loading gate. Just makes it really easy to load. I really like that because you can get those rounds in there really quick from a bandolier or from your belt if you have loops you can just pop those rounds right in. But what I really love about the tube fed is that you can load it very quickly. So initially, drop your rounds in, you can load it, and then when you want to unload it, that's probably the biggest thing. Uh, there's nothing worse than having loads in the magazine and having to rack that lever every time to unload them. 
mean, to be honest with you, it's just not safe. But now when it comes to just shooting the rifle, uh, the 4570 definitely packs a punch. It's 400 grain bullet uh, that we were using, but a lot of loads are all the way down to 300 grain. So you can get this down to a very manageable level if the larger bullet weights are a little bit tough on your shoulder. Uh, one thing we were using was some federal trophy bonded uh, silver tip bear claws. Those things were a beast. And I mean, they wore me out. <laughs> I mean, I've shot a number of them but I really enjoyed shooting the Fiocchi with the 405 grain. But again, you can get about any size load, and that's one of the things about 4570 because it is so popular. There's a number of different options. And then a lot of guys will hand load and get the power really up. I mean, this makes an excellent brush gun. I mean, from two to 300 yards, you're gonna really pack a punch. But this gun, again, will take it on out to 1,000 yards and beyond and still be lethal. The one thing about the Henry is it's so smooth. I mean, it's just really smooth to shoot. Uh, the lever just is just back and forth. It just glides back and forth. Lever action rifles are great. I mean, they're very manageable. They're very pointable and they're just handy. It's one of the things I love about lever action, but it's also fast to shoot. And while you might have a bolt action where you're pulling the bolt back, the lever just makes it quick. And so even with the 4570 and that extra recoil, this is a lot of fun to shoot with your standard loads. And then as far as accuracy, I didn't put a scope on here and a lot of times I'm slow to show accuracy when it comes to just having iron sights. But out to distance, it, it makes it a little more difficult to show the capability of the gun. But we went ahead and shot a group and then we shot it on steel. Now when it comes to iron sights, you can get decent accuracy, but to really show what the accuracy on this rifle is, you need to put an optic on it. So I just wanted to demonstrate when I'm shooting just steel, and to be honest with you, I wasn't really trying to put a tight group in. But shooting just offhand, using those buckhorn sights, I mean, I was still able to get a really good group, and honestly, I wasn't trying to get a really good group. I was just trying to hit steel. So this gun is very capable. Now, obviously, I need to adjust my sights, but all six rounds right here with just open sights, um, you know, I'm pleased with that. I'll adjust my sights. We can move it up. You know, even on the steel, I was shooting just a little bit to the right. The one thing you always remember is the more that you're getting that back on your shoulder, the more that's going out the barrel. And so these have been used in Africa to take a number of different game. And quite honestly, the 4570 has taken all the big five. This gun has a lot of power and yet you can back it down if you just want to go for more medium game. It's a very versatile round. That's a pleasure to shoot after those bear, bonded bear claws. Those things are tr atrocious. Years ago, my brother was looking for a 4570. Uh, couldn't find one. Ended up buying a 444 Marlin, which also packs a punch and is pretty close to the 4570 in ballistics. And it really whet my appetite for that big bore caliber. Ever since then, I'd wanted a 4570. And man, after I bought my first one, I was dead set. And guys, if you've never tried 4570, and recoil doesn't scare you, <laughs> this is definitely one to check out. Man, this is the beast. In fact, this is Beauty and the Beast. Now these are all made in the USA. Uh, they do have a lifetime warranty on them. One of the things that Henry says is made in the USA or not at all. There's a ton of different models of these made. Again, 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, 3030. I mean, there's just a number of different calibers and that includes the side loading gates. And so you can go to Henry Arms uh, website and check it out. 
if the 4570 is not what you're looking for. But to be honest with you guys, if you're looking for something that really packs a punch, this is a great option. And as far as price, the uh, MSRP is $969. And of course, fair market price, go to your local gun shop and typically you can get it for less. So guys, if you're looking for a 4570, especially in the lever action, I highly recommend checking out the Henry Arms. They're to me the best lever action rifle company out there. Really high quality wood, the metal is beautiful, beautifully finished. And of course now with the side loading gate where again a lot of people were really wanting that and you know the one thing is the tube was just you know slow to reload. Uh, this really gives you again the best of both worlds, makes it very safe. So check out the Henry 4570 side gate. This is a beast and we appreciate Henry for sending the 4570 side gate for this review. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Let's go out here and try this, especially this 4570. And uh, wait, let's see what this is. Leave it recording. Bring that right up here, baby. Okay. Say one thing at the bench that kicks, kicks pretty hard. <laughs> I like it though.